Oh, hello. I was just looking for the volume control, which my good buddy Sydney uh, seems to have lost down the back of the couch about a quarter of a century ago. Now, so try this to let me emphasize. Just recently, I was inside a Sydney gathering place and uh, the music was pretty loud. So I went up to the guy behind the counter and I said, to which he replied, what's that, mate? So I repeated, what's that, mate? What's that, mate? At which point he turns around, he turns to me and he goes, whoa, mate, you're looking a little upset there. What's the problem? And so I'll tell you what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is. Three minutes ago, I was actually audible to my speaking companion. And as a result, she caught on to the fact that my conversation consists of nothing more than me reeling off real estate prices. I felt very exposed. So please, turn the fucking music up so I never have to feel that vulnerable again. At which point the bouncer threw me out, and now that's another library that I'm no longer welcome at. Anyway, can't sit here yapping all day. An eastern suburbs heiress crashed her dad's Ferrari so now there's an open casket funeral that I need to attend. It's all right. She's all right. Uh, it's just that the family thought, should it happen again and push come to shove, come to one cubic metre of crumpled metal, then there'd be no point in compounding the embarrassment with one of those distasteful pop-up funerals. Uh, so a rehearsal or two might be in order. And it's a good way for busy people to catch up. It does mean, however, that there'll be more than a dozen Sydney siders gathered in a public place. Uh, so that'll be a guarantee. Guaranteed dose of doof doof. Um, and it's happening at night, so probably also fireworks. <laughs>